No, that's not a joke. Your boy Rock Lee may actually lose everything. And this has to do with, guess what? Copyright strikes. One of which that I actually beat. But we actually, a lot of a lot of content creators right now in the anime reaction space are getting clapped for like Jellyfish Cancel Me Tonight, Shangri-La Frontier. I got hit back in the day with Ragnar Crimson and Akiba Made War. But there's basically a new set of you know, strikes going out. Bro has made a video on his different channels though to talk about it because he can't post on his main channel anymore. That's what happens when you get three strikes. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, if you guys haven't heard, the main your boy Rock Lee channel has gotten three copyright strikes over the anime series Shangri-La Frontiers. And you know what the most fucked up thing is? If there's just one strike, at least you can still upload. You can counter appeal and continue to make content without your YouTube channel just like dropping off the algorithm, right? Basically, your viewership are going to continue because you're able to upload videos. But sometimes these copyright strikers are so fucking sinister, they intentionally send out three fucking strikes in one go. And the most fucked up thing is, they can decide to include all of the videos they're striking in one strike. They can do like a bat strike. But they're so fucking sinister that they intentionally hit sometimes three in a row while encompassing all the videos when, it, again, it could have just been one strike. There is no like genuine level of like oh contesting fair use or whatnot they're just here to fucking abuse the youtube copyright system that we all know about it's so stupid wild because that's actually a series i bought the manga for right yeah. so i could talk to you guys about the impact that reaction channels have to the community i got a lot to fucking say about that bro literally bought merch of shangri-la frontier Bro is spreading awareness of this show on his platform where he gets hundreds of thousands of millions of views, right? And then what does he get for doing free advertisement for fucking Shangri-La? He gets clapped by these fucking random corporate boomers that live in Japan that are so fucking outdated with the copyright law, that are so fucking outdated with how modern day advertising work. We are literally doing free advertisement, driving potential users to buy your product, but it's like, nah, fuck you. We're gonna clap your ass. And some people are gonna say, no, reaction channel to steal from the producers. What the fuck are you talking about? Motherfucker, do you think people actually watch reactions like as their first pass? Now, I do have some fucking loyal, insane zealots in chat that's willing to raw dog a brand new episode with me just to check out the reactions. But 99% of the time, people watch their, their watch, watch the episode by themselves on whatever platform they use. Then they decide to show up to see their favorite moments be shared with the content creator they enjoy. It's that simple. And this creates a community, this creates more exposure, more advertisement to people that potentially haven't even known about this show, if not for fucking reactions. And then they may even buy the content, right? This is how it should work. But these fucking corporate execs in Japan, they have no fucking clue. They're just following the old fucking testament, wrote God knows how long ago. It's on a fucking slab of rock, and they don't even question it. They just say, obey the law. Uh, some of you guys haven't even heard about shows like that. I hype it up. You guys, if you watch any one of my reactions, there's not a single video where I watch her show and I say, wow, that product was mid or whatever. I call every fucking show mid. <laughs> I call, I call every show mid. If you don't know right now, <laughs> in her community tab, here's the fucking mid animes we're pulling next. Go guys, go fucking vote. Anyways, back to it. If anything, I'll just say, well, looks like I don't have much to say. Or I'll just stay quiet. I always vibe with my, my favorite parts. Um, I just keep it positive. Yeah. And, uh, and that's it. So I feel like we do value to the anime companies, the K-drama companies, Western. What he's saying is he doesn't slander the product. Therefore, there's not even a chance of people just like boycotting or having any negative effects to the bottom line of those studios, right? By not talking shit about an anime, he at the very least doesn't do any harm but let's get serious like bro is putting in the fucking work for these fucking you know Kadokawa Kadokawa is actually kind of nice it's fucking Kodansha and King Records that's fucking with us right now whoever because all we do is hype up the shows <laughs> and that's it um so if you guys want to support you guys are asking what can I do first of all this sub to this channel sub to this channel Go like the video, go sub to his channel. He's got many different channels. This channel right here will be the launching place for uh, new reaction videos if I'm not able to resolve the copyright strikes that's on your...
I think um, three strikes is really fucked because obviously you're set for termination and they give you seven fucking days to wrap things up before they terminate. But you can also counter it. You can also counter it. And even though the counter notification will take 10 business days for those motherfuckers to reply, which they don't, they just ghost you because it's, their intention is not to take you to court. Their intention is to fucking take a shotgun, shoot it in the fucking blind to hit whatever quota they have because these are fucking salary men that's just taking orders from above. They have no fucking clue what they're doing. They're just doing it because they're told what to do. I don't even blame them, to be honest. It's the fucking system that's a problem. And then YouTubers, they have to deal with their entire livelihood just being at, uh, just being at the threat of just being cut off. It's so fucked up and Again, you have seven days to wrap shit up, but 10 days to wait. How does that make any fucking sense, YouTube? How the fuck are people gonna wait? Like, how are you gonna like terminate a channel within seven days when the appeal process takes 10 days? Now there's a special like um, exceptional case where I think they hold off that 70 duration if you've submitted a counter appeal and it's an actually been processed and sent to the copyright um, strikers. But in 10 days, he'll be back. A lot of people, from my knowledge, there has never been a situation where someone actually made transformative content, got hit with three strikes, and wasn't able to counter appeal and win. Because again, these motherfuckers are just here to fucking bluff. They don't actually give a fuck. The boy Rock Lee, um, because it's facing termination. So that's that. What else you could do on our Patreon side? Obviously support on Patreon, love that. Yeah. You guys get our uncut videos, early uh, access. Aside from that, we have a free membership on Patreon why that's valuable you guys get these kind of updates and if i launch a new channel i launch a new product you guys get it right away you know of it right away and how that's a win-win ultimately you're just helping us grow faster kind of from scratch again these videos are expensive to edit yeah patreon offsets a good portion of the costs but to start all over on a smaller channel you need to start streaming the content man especially the k-drama reactions <laughs> One day, Kaka TV3, K drama reaction. Discount BTS member reacts to Korean drama name insert for the first time. I think that would fucking bang. I just don't have time for that though. Definitely will eat on anime. Definitely will eat on the Western live actions. So if you guys, A, join the Patreon free so you guys get these notifications. B, when I start posting on a new channel, this channel, right? Yeah. And you guys support it right away. We grow in the algorithm faster and you help us offset the cost so that we can continue this operation without any disruption. And this is another fucked up thing. The channel being terminated is fucked, absolutely. But at the very least, if you have a case that you can appeal against because your content is transformative, you just gotta wait 10 days, then you'll be back in it. But during those 10 days, no uploads. Do you understand what that does to a fucking YouTube algorithm? Think of it like this. Every day, YouTubers have a certain number to meet and think of the number as a height of a fire. Every fucking day, I'm monitoring my analytics so that I can keep the fire going and hit this metric so that if I can be consistent with this, then I can grow more on the YouTube side. But if there's no Kindle, no fucking firewood you're putting in, the fire obviously dies down. Then you gotta start that shit back up again. And yes, we can do it again. But it takes a lot of fucking time to get there. Is YouTube gonna fucking offset the cost that we lost during those 10 days of no content? No, we just get fucked because people abuse the YouTube copyright system and everyone like it, it, it just, it just sucks for fucking everyone. I can't even blame YouTube. Most people that aren't knowledgeable about this copyright system would be fast to blame YouTube. And yes, the system is fucked, but it makes sense. Because at the end of the day, YouTube's rules are not to protect the creator. These laws exist to create, to protect the platform. If this, basically, you are guilty until proven innocent, shoot first and ask later kind of concept approach to these strikes wasn't in place, then potentially YouTube is the one that could be sued for all these copyright infringement content on YouTube. And then they would obviously lose so much more money compared to a scenario where anime reactors, different reaction channels get striked and can't upload videos. They're missing out on the views. But again, these, this money there is insignificant compared to the amount that they could potentially lose if the system wasn't in place. So I understand that, right? They're doing their game and I'm doing my game. It just sucks that it, like, at the very least, have some sort of fucking rule 
so that these repeat strikers from these repeat fucking producers have some kind of like tally system on their end. Why is it that we get three and it's done, but these motherfuckers can abuse and abuse and abuse, and we counter appeal and we fucking win against those cases, but YouTube doesn't recognize that. These, the reason why, okay, the jellyfish, remember jellyfish? Or even Ragnar Crimson? Do you know why after I won those strikes that I don't even publish those videos anymore? Because these motherfuckers can strike me again. And then it'll just go through and then we're back at square one. It's this fucked up system where even if you win, you don't win. You have to fucking skirt around it and you can't fucking make content out of it anymore. That's how the fucking system is. It is what it is, right? Every anime reaction channel, and I'm complaining a lot right now because I'm fucking heated. This is everyone's fucking, like, you think it's just a fucking YouTube channel? We are putting our fucking lives, just our entire livelihood into this. I work a fucking 9 to 5, get home, fucking stream the next 5 to 6 hours, fall asleep, so I can wake up and do the same thing again because this is my passion. I want to fucking put everything I have into it. But if you focus so hard into this one passion, and then bullshit like this can just be like, you know what, all your work can be just fucking gone. How do you think that we would feel? And yes, nobody told us to do anime reactions. When any reaction channel starts their content, they know what kind of game they're signing up for. We know that the copyright thing exists, and that's why we edit our content and make sure that's transformative as possible. But it just still sucks that this is the way things are. It's just, it is what it is. Here's my plan, guys. We have... If I, I cannot post for 10 days, but my editors are still going to be editing the shows as normal. And you got to pay the editor. 10 days of no content on YouTube. That's a significant amount of money. That's just completely gone. That could, and he's just losing money because YouTube fucked him. And as soon as I either clear things on this channel or I find out that it's a wash on the uh, main channel and I start here on this channel, videos are just going to be shooting out. That's my commitment. And I just ask for you guys to just support this channel, support, uh, and guys, you know, go follow subscribe him. Subscribe on Patreon for free. Don't worry about it. Just so you can at least get the notifications of what we're doing. Obviously we have the paid plan, but you already know about that. Anything else that you can do? I got your boy Rock Lee gaming. Uh, that's supposed to be a group project. It is what it is right now. It's just my solo content. So if you guys can support the gaming channel, that's great. K drama fans. I got your boy Rock Lee Asian media also in the description of this video. That's where I cover uh, K-pop reactions, and I just cover overall K-drama How many channels do you news. have? Holy shit. So if you guys are interested in that, like six that, or seven channels. You know, go ahead and support. These kind of things really keep the stress and anxiety off, so I can just keep focusing on content, finding a way to come back. <laughs> That's another thing. Do you know what it feels like having a copyright strike and having to fucking pump out content? Like, do you know how it fucking feels? It feels fucking terrible. Me? In my old channel, this is my second channel. In my old channel, when I didn't even know that I could fucking counter appeal, when I got two strikes back to back, I decided to delete my channel because I knew that if I got third and I fucking got my channel terminated for violating the, you know, TOS for the copyright shit, you're banned. The AdSense stuff, they got all your fucking legal documentation. You're fucking banned. Sure, you can try to buy new YouTube accounts. They're gonna around that shit. So I decided to kill my own channel so that I could have another chance to at least grow. This is the kind of shit that people like us have to deal with. And yes, we're not asking for pity. We fucking watch anime for a living. How amazing is that? But just know that there's bullshit around where it's just not all rainbows and fucking glitters here. Every day, we're sweating, thinking, ah shit, is it my fucking time? Am I gonna get a fucking strike? You wake up with fucking YouTube emails saying Brr, copyright strikes. It's just like a fucking dagger in your heart. And you just have to, you know what? And then you just have to basically act like it doesn't exist and just continue to push forward because no one really wants to hear about your problems. Uh, ready with the counter. Huh. Right, there's a counter punch, counter hook, counter claim. I'm ready for it. And with you guys' support, I don't have this much anxiety. I can just keep moving on because here's one thing I know. If you are a reaction channel, yeah. if you don't go through copyright strikes, I don't know what to tell you. This is You're lucky as fuck. If you're a reaction channel, it's not if you'll get a copyright strike. It's when everybody has to go through it. A staple in the biz in the, in the in the business. It just is what it is. There's people that don't treat us fair. There's people that don't treat fair use fair. There's people that don't even agree on fair use. 
And again, like, I don't give a fuck about your opinion on whether or not reaction content is lazy leech content. I admit, I think reaction content is super lazy. I don't have to fucking come up with a script. I just fucking pop up the video. I watch it, have fun with my audience, and that is all there is to it. But lazy con most people that get mad at reaction channels just does that because they see how easily it is to make those content and how successful they are. I tell you then, go fucking start it yourself. If it's so fucking easy, why don't you fucking try it? Guess what? Trying to be entertaining, just watching a show and trying to be entertaining while watching a show is a totally different fucking environment. I bet you couldn't fucking do it. If you think you can, fucking prove me wrong. And once you do prove me wrong, you will realize that what he's saying about, you know, reaction people getting hated, you'll realize how wrong that is because you know what it takes to fucking get there. It's a load of bullshit that reaction channels has to deal with, but it is just the nature of the game. It just blows my mind that we create content that does free advertisement for the fucking anime studios or the, the producers. And instead of collaborating and potentially exposing even more fucking, you know, viewership to a wider audience, they decide to fucking strike him down. You know how Crunchyroll did like a sponsorship with like uh, Giguk and they watched the uh, Mushoku Tensei season two on YouTube, right? All the way through. Do you think that if people were scared of reaction content, that they would do something like that? No, because they understand influencer marketing. They understand that if we have a content creator and then an audience that loves them, and if you try to push a product that way by watching the anime, which is advertisement, then it's gonna fucking feed the traffic. Just follow the fucking money. But these boomers in Japan just are stuck with the old copyright laws written back before fucking Jesus Christ was born. And they just stick with it because it's just the fucking culture there, bro. But the point is, every channel I know that's worth its salt have been through this. And we just got to keep on moving. I thank you guys. Later. I am very passionate about content like this whenever people are in danger. In fact, it's not even your boy Rock Lee. Steffio is also facing issues right now with her contents because she also just got a batch of fucking strikes, bro. Just overnight. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Over some bullshit sign of affection and jellyfish? It's, it's, it's a bunch of bullshit. But guys, the best thing you can do, go to their channel. Go to Steffi's. You know, go to, go to Rock, Rock Lee's. Go give them a little bit of support. They watch a lot of anime content too. Maybe you'll enjoy it. And I always want to cover content like this. And I always want to put a fucking spotlight on people that could be struggling. Rock Lee, he doesn't really need my support. Like, let's be real. I'm just, I, like, I'm a nobody, right? But there are other small creators that could be facing copyright strikes. They don't even know how to resolve it. They don't even know they could resolve it. And I just don't want them to be going down the same path as me where I had to fucking delete my own channel out of just because I just didn't have the knowledge. You should always counter appeal assuming that your content is indeed transformative. And if you have grounds to stand against that, I think that fair use stands up in court.